All right, all right, all right. We are now more than halfway through the display. We've got this deck that we will check out. <laughs> um, looking through the houses. Boom, boom, boom. Dis Sanctum Logos. Torback. Cleric of the Strategic Foundry. I kind of like, I like that name. It's like one of those names that makes sense. All right, so Archon card down. Let's do this. We have Dino Knight. You may play, you may exalt Dino Knight. If you do, deal three to a creature. Second Dino Knight, nice. Strong board already. Whoa, Purifier of Souls, destroyed effects cannot trigger. That is awesome. I wonder if I have a lot of destroyed effects. Purify, this one's a mouthful. Play, purge a mutant creature. If you do, discard cards from the top of its controller's deck until you discard a non-mutant creature or run out of cards. If you discard a non-mutant creature, put it into play under its owner's control. Interesting. Baronon. After a mutant creature enters play, enrage Baronon. <laughs> so this guy just gets mad every time he sees a mutant. Like, that's funny. Amberheart. Exalt ward and fully heal a friendly creature. Squire Alice, capture two. Squire Alice, capture two more. Seeker of Truth with a capture bonus icon. Nice. Fawn of the Eye. I like that a lot. If an enemy creature was destroyed this turn, a friendly creature captures one. And it's an Omni, so that's beautiful. Cleansing Wave. Cool. Burning Glare provides an Ember icon. And stun an enemy creature or stun each enemy mutant creature. Research Smoko. Fission Bloom, cool. Causal Loop with a capture icon. Archive a card. Archive Causal Loop. What, who are these? Like, Villam and Hyde's, like, uncles? <laughs> um, Bouncing Death Quark. Neat. I like that. Standardized Testing with a draw icon. Destroy each creature with the lowest power and each creature with the highest power. Opposition research, not really a fan of this one. Infomorph, enhance, nice, provides two draw icons. Eclectic Inquiry, archive the top two cards of your deck. I love being able to archive my cards, so it's pretty nice. Um, diametric charge, deal one damage to a creature with two damage splash. That works really well with Cleansing Wave, so I like that. Demo bot, more deck cycling, and with the destroyed steal one effect. Demo bot and has a draw icon, so that's cool. Nice, auto encoder. After a card is discarded from your hand, archive the top card of your deck. I will do that all day. Whoa, a sin. Okay, pride. This is my first pride deck, I think. Reap, ward each friendly sin creature. Cool. Gluttony. Exalt gluttony once for each friendly sin creature. Move each ember from friendly creatures to your pool. Desire. Keys cost plus four. Nice. Forge a key at current cost. Reduced by one for each friendly scene creature. Neat. And we only have three. So that's okay. Essence scale. Destroy friendly creature. If you do, ready and use a friendly creature that shares a house with the destroyed creature. So I'm most likely, based on what I've seen, probably going to want to use the sin creatures the most. So hopefully I have a lot of dis creatures. Waking Nightmare. Double Waking Nightmare. Snaret. Nice. Mark of Dis, nice. Infernus, nice. Inspector, nice as well. That's really good for triggering Essence Scale, for example. Implosion, cool. And double Implosion. All right. That seems really good. Uh, this deck seems a lot of fun to play. I can already notice some synergies. Um, but let's... Uh, oh, this has a draw icon. I didn't even notice that. Um, but yes, let's count the raw ember first. So one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So just ten raw amber. Um, that's not a lot. So Let's see how much creature control we've got here. So we've got one, two, 
three. Four, sure, for the stun. Five, six, sure, reap prevention, seven. So not bad. There is a good amount of creature control here. Let's go through Ember control. So one, two, three, four, five, but also affects you kind of. Six, seven, Nine, this is a really good one. Ten, eleven, and twelve, because there's two. Thirteen. Thirteen Ember Control. So that's not bad as well. Um, let's dive into some of the highlights. Ooh, fancy little deck flush there. All right, guys, so diving into this, I'm gonna mention some of the highlights that I noticed from this deck that's pretty cool. Um, we have a good amount of spot damage to dish out, which leads to the effectiveness of Cleansing Wave, which is nice. Um, in addition to that, the three Sin cards here are going to be the bread and butter of this deck. Pride will be good for protecting the other two, which work well together. Um, Gluttony will actually reap and move each ember from friendly creatures to your pool. So that's every single friendly creature you have, and you can ins exalt Gluttony for each sin you have. So you can technically on play exalt him three times, and then protect with pride, and then, you, and then on a reap, transfer all the ember from all of your creatures um, into your pool. And that is super, super strong if you are considering all the capture that is present in this deck. We have Causal Loop with a capture icon. We've got Seeker of Truth with a capture icon. Two Squire Alices right here. So that's a total capture of four on play. Fawn of the Eye with a lot of board um, control really uh, strengthens that as well. And Baronon, right? So I think that is this whole combination here is going to play off these three very well. Um, especially if your opponent will, if your opponent struggles to get rid of these three, um, what's going to happen is you could potentially, because of all that capture present, you could potentially forge a key, right? Um, theoretically, of course. And you know there are other flexible ways that you can use the three sin cards with Essence Scale, and I like how two of the three cards are worth using Essence Scale in order to make a play. Imp Spectre is a good selection for Essence Scale, and in Furnace, you know, once you've played in Furnace, it's just a body, so you can technically use Essence Scale in order to play one of your Sin creatures. Um, Snoret, you'd probably feel bad, you'd probably feel bad for using, so what you can do, um, for that one turn is, you know, reap with gluttony to move ember from Snoret into your pool. Keeps going out of focus, I'm sorry. Reap with gluttony so you can get all the ember from your creatures, if Snoret's on the board as well, to your pool. Essence scale the Snoret with no ember on her in order to use gluttony um, or in order to actually use desire and forge a key. So there's a lot of interesting uh, little details in this deck that allow you to uh, create very synergistic plays across houses. Um, that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and let me know in the comment section below if you have made a huge play with Gluttony, because I have, especially with Envy as a combination. So uh, thanks guys for watching, and take it easy.